Hello guys, so I am in Punta Cana. I decided I wasn't gonna vlog because I stopped vlogging, but I wanted to do, oh, I'm so hot. I wanted to do daily outfit of the days. So that is what I will be doing this trip. We are in our room. We are staying at Chic Punta Cana. It is beautiful, but yes, I will be showing you guys what I'm wearing every day. I'm not gonna do a room tour because there are so many on YouTube, but this is what I wore to the airport. <laughs> I have on my spandex biker shorts from Forever 21 my Nike workout top. This is the reason why I got my sewing. And yeah, I'm just super sweaty and hot. But we will be back. We have to go take care of some business. Uh, but I'm gonna share with you guys all of my outfits. And I'll probably do a couple of dedicated videos. So I figured that is my little gift to you since I'm not vlogging. But yeah, I need to cool off because it is super, super hot in here. So I will see you guys later. Okay, so we're going to go to the beach or the pool soon, and this is my outfit. I had to put my hair up, y'all, because it's, it's super hot and I'm just like sweating everywhere. So I'm wearing a white bikini with this pink and white uh, cover-up that I got from Venus Swim. Uh, I will link everything below. I'm wearing some pink flip-flops these are the sandals I'm wearing I got these from rainbow I will link them if I can you guys I love this swim cover-up it gives me like chic housewife vibes and then the bikini is like well first of all it's x-rated for YouTube <laughs> and it's like cute cute 30 year old vibes I think that white bikinis are so sexy to wear on vacation. Uh, I will be taking this pool bag with me and I'll be doing a what's in my pool bag video. So look out for that. Yeah, I will see you guys later. Oh, so I forgot to tell you, I forgot to tell you guys my swim bikini top is from uh, Swimsuits for All, thank you. And the bottoms that I have on, which you can't see for a good reason, are from Forever 21 Plus. I will link those. Ah, oh, I'm just loving this white. It's white hot. And it is hot. It's very hot, actually. So this is my makeup for tonight. I have foundation, concealer. This lip is Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink with Fenty Gloss Balm. The sandals are from, I got them from Etsy. They're not Valentino. The breast lift is brought to you by Brassy Bra. Baby, she's lifted. She's lifted taking me high yeah and that's it and i'm gonna wear my eva clutch yep fashion nova dress this is the bag i'm wearing i feel very dominican tonight
I look oily because I have on sunscreen. Today is Wednesday. We've gone to breakfast and now we're gonna go to the pool. This is my little ensemble for today. The swimsuit is from Forever 21 Plus. The skirt is from ASOS a few years ago. I'm just gonna wear some black sandals. Hair is up like this because it's hot. Oh, you can see the back, it crisscrosses. We went and ate breakfast, at least tried to. I'm not a big breakfast person, but yeah. We're gonna go to the pool so that we can tan and take cute pictures and swim and, you know, have some fun. So yeah, I love Forever 21 swimsuits. I just think they fit really well. And I cut a couple of the notches from this top. I just felt like it looked better. So yes, this is my outfit for today. Earlier when we went to um, breakfast, sorry I sound a little congested, congested. Earlier when we went to breakfast, I just wore like, um, what's it called? Workout outfit. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, this is what I'm wearing tonight. I think I showed this romper earlier. It's from Forever 21. I love Forever 21. The shoes are from ASOS like a year ago. Simple makeup because it's hot and it's just gonna sweat off anyway. Hey, the clutch. Oh, and last night was crazy. There was so much that you didn't see. Hopefully today will be much calmer. Cause that was a lot. Today is Thursday. It's almost noon. We're getting ready to go find some food and then go to the pool because that's what we do. And this is missing a string. But um, I'm wearing this red bikini from Forever 21 and this cover up poncho by Steve Madden and the sandals I've been wearing the entire time in various colors because they're my favorite. And I'm sure these waves of my hair will be gone in three minutes. I'm still battling my cold. And I feel like all of my bikinis have been from Forever 21. And this is actually a bottom from current season and the top is from last year.
this is my outfit of the day for Thursday night. Uh, this cropped tank shirt is from Forever 21. Pants that are wide leg and high waisted are from Forever 21. Bag, same bag I've had and I have on these earrings from Forever 21. <laughs> and this is Kat Von D LUV. And yeah, that's my little outfit. I just love these pants. So yeah, and I'm wearing my little black sandals because you guys know these sandals are all I brought. Gonna go have some fun, go to dinner, party a little bit tonight, live it up. Hopefully. <laughs> It's Friday, I think. Friday. <laughs> We're gonna go sit at the pool and get into whatever the day brings. This is what I'm wearing today. Bikini Forever 21, of course. It has like a cute cutouts on the side. This cover up is from ASOS from like four years ago. The same beach bag that I've been bringing. My hydration for today and vitamin C. LV scarf, same sandals I've been wearing all trip. I need to go work on my tan, so that's what we're gonna go do. our last night and I let's just vlog from up here <laughs> I'm, just, I'm missing working out cuz yeah so I'm wearing this bodycon dress from forever 21 cuz that's the only place I shop and I'm wearing the same little shoes and I have on this bite beauty bronze lip gloss and some gold hoops <sighs> Today is our last day. We're getting ready to go to the airport. Thought I would show you my airplane travel outfit. This black dress from ASOS. Look at me, it's not Forever 21. Uh, this is my travel dress. It's super comfy, it's lightweight. And my chacos because walking from customs in Atlanta to baggage claim is like a 30 minute walk and last time, I had to take three breaks, so unless you get a wheelchair, bring super comfortable shoes. And I'm wearing my hat so that it doesn't get squished. This is from Vince Camino. I got it from Norris and Rack months ago. And um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vacation vlog without being like a full vacation vlog. But I figured you guys would appreciate this. Something is better than nothing, so. Hi guys, so I wanted to come in on the end of this vlog and give a review of Chic Punta Cana, the resort that we stayed at. Uh, just because since I didn't do like a full vlog like I would have normally done, uh, I just want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the resort because I feel like I kind of have a lot to say. Um, excuse the lack of makeup. I am just basking in my tan uh, and I'm enjoying not wearing like makeup. But I do want to give you guys some highlights from my trip. I would say overall it was an amazing trip. It was supposed to be complete rest relaxation fun and just like enjoying ourselves and we definitely did that uh, I would give the hotel it's rated as being like a five-star resort I would give it maybe three and a half uh, I really enjoyed the entertainment I think it was called like the vibe 
the vibe team or something they were amazing they were everything uh they were about three or four people that did little events at the pool little things to get you engaged during the day and they also let the nightlife that was really fun uh the room <laughs> i feel could have been a bit updated i think chic punta kind of focused a lot on the exterior and the facade of things uh we had to switch rooms once when we got there it was a whole big ordeal we were supposed to get switched to the presidential but we were just sick of moving so we just stayed where we were um that was interesting the room itself had things that were like broken falling apart the first room was dirty though so we had to get out of that room but yeah i would definitely say the rooms need a little bit of updating the first room that we were initially in smelled like mildew the second room smelled better um but after that the room experience was great uh it was cleaned i guess after the manager had to deal with us uh that first day they were like just make sure they're good and taken care of uh and he definitely came back by to check on things so you know i do give them their kudos for that trying to make things right but at first it was like pulling teeth just to get something nice and clean and then compensate it for basically wasting half of our first day there because we really couldn't do anything because we were waiting to get into a room that we were going to be staying in uh so besides the room situation the food is my biggest problem with this resort now this is one reason why i don't necessarily like all-inclusive resorts i feel like they cut corners on certain things like the quality of alcohol and the food because they're catering to so many people who are going to be eating there because it's technically free like you've already paid for it on the front end uh the food at this resort Mm -mm. like two thumbs down I think it's because we got there in the middle of the week and we left on a Saturday so maybe they kind of make the food a little better on the weekends I'm not sure but when you go on the website to book your trip they're going to say like there are five or six restaurants but when we were there for 90 percent of our trip each night there's really only one restaurant available for you to eat at so you think you're getting like all these choices but nightly there's really only one choice and the first night we had italian my food was great uh the person i went with their food was not the second night we had the steakhouse their food looked <sighs> Like, I'm a steak and lobster kind of gal, but that steak, no. <laughs> uh, what did I get? I think that night I got fish and chips, but it tasted like frozen. It was just not good. Uh, after that, they had Dominican night, and that food was amazing. Like, that's what I was waiting for. Like, when I go to a country, I want to eat the local cuisine, and I just, the, uh, I don't know. I just think for me, all-inclusive resorts are great for the fun and the fact that you really don't have to bring any money but for me i just need to go with a ton of money so that i can eat out because i don't know i don't know if i'm just used to finer dining experiences or higher quality foods but the food was not cutting it for me like i expected to go on vacation and come back a few pounds heavier i gained two tenths of a pound and i did drink and i ate but it's like I wasn't eating a lot. So the good thing about this resort is they did have like a poolside snackery, if you want to call it that. So we pretty much ate Dominican fried chicken, burgers, and I had chicken wraps. Uh, and that's kind of what we just ate for lunch every day because we didn't even feel like being bothered with the lunch buffet. I just, I don't know. I would do an all-inclusive again, but I would just make sure I bring a lot of money so that I can eat off the resort for dinner because, like, that's the whole point of traveling for me. Part of it is just enjoying the good cuisine and I don't know if the food was frozen, but it definitely tasted like it was frozen and I just wasn't feeling that. <laughs> So, and I met a couple people at the resort and they all said the same thing. So definitely be mindful of that. It also depends on what, what types of foods that you like. Some people said the food there was great. We saw people finishing their entire meals and getting dessert. No, it just, I don't know. It wasn't like that for me, <laughs> but maybe you would find it differently. So the food definitely was something that needed improvement. The rooms also, there were tourists 
like companies that were there to get you to sign up for excursions and things they were so annoying you guys like oh my goodness we every time so basically the company whatever their name is say it's elegance they sit at the towel stand so when you go get your towel they're like do you want to do this excursion do you want and i'm just like no we want to relax we're just here to enjoy each other and have fun so that was kind of annoying also they walked around they bothered you when you're clearly sunbathing and all that so that was kind of that was that was kind of annoying like I don't want to be hassled and haggled all the time about signing up to do something or spending extra money unless I seek you out uh, that was kind of off-putting uh, but other than that everything was nice I love the nightlife at our resort one of my friends was actually in Punta Cana at the same time and I don't think his resort was as much fun as ours was so I definitely loved the people that worked there that interacted with you on a daily basis um the front desk staff could have been a little better we had a little hiccup with that hanging up on us and on our delta vacations representative uh, but other than those few hiccups i really did enjoy our vacation and it was perfect it was exactly what we needed and it was a great time i would just be mindful that if you're a foodie like myself or if you're used to a certain quality of food you might not really enjoy the food that much but I don't know would I go back to Chic Punta Cana I would I would just eat off the resort and I would make sure to just get the top of the line room and make sure it's thoroughly clean but um other than that I really did enjoy the vacation you guys I I would recommend Chic Punta Cana but I think just adjust your expectations uh, I don't think it's a five-star hotel in my opinion I've stayed at five-star hotels and resorts and that was not one of them it is a nice hotel resort it is cute it's very chic it's very girly um, it's cute for taking pictures and having photo shoots uh, but the main factor for me I loved the vibe team the people that got you hype during the day during the pool parties at night um, they were partying with us like I had so much fun and I was even on stage like dancing like what I don't do things like that so overall I really did enjoy my experience but I just wanted to give you guys some of my real thoughts and opinions about the resort because uh, for the most part 80% of what I read online was positive and the things that were negative I experienced them as well um, but overall I loved it I had a great time now I want to learn Spanish and I'm definitely going to go back to the Dominican Republic every year if I can. So yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit of my trip with you guys. I know it wasn't a full-fledged vlog, but I just wanted to keep my vacation private and enjoy uh, the time I had there and not have to worry about actually bringing you guys along. But I still wanted to give you a little glimpse. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!